Full bam, guys. We are back. Um, me, bread, doing bread things again. Uh, yeah, we're back here with Skyrim. Um, everyone's walking away from me. So I guess the, the miracle of defeating a dragon wasn't all that crazy. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? We sure did, buddy. We sure absolutely did. Yes. Yeah, don't mess with Whiterun. Or, uh, you're gonna get punched directly in the face. Just right... Right in that eye. <laughs> you hit him right in the eye. Yeah, so, that's what we did. Um, so yeah, last episode we killed a dragon. And, um... You know, no big deal. I mean, it was only like a mythical creature from ancient past. No, no biggie or anything. Can I just like run through this little farm? I'm just gonna do that. Potato! Oh. Doda key. Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna talk to my cat friend though. I, I was thinking about this the other day. Fortune smiles upon this meeting. Sure does. Need something? Oh, we can't actually talk to him. Sorry. Can we talk to this guy? Hey. I have traveled far across Tamriel to serve you. Yes. Um, I've heard you've been running into trouble. It is all in this note. Balance of power, it's in the note, huh? Uh, okay, why do you sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away. But for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Oh, they're all about the profit? Uh, see, this is why I'm with these kitty guys. I agree with them. Take a look. Hey, that's me! That's me! Alright, so, uh, I kind of wanted to sell them stuff. But how did I get these arrows? Oh, I think, uh, I think, uh, Hadvar gave them to me. <laughs> You can have those for free. We want those because, wait. Frost damage and frost damage? So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of the more expensive one. Um, I can take that crown. I'm keeping my foot wraps as a, as a memento to my or origins. This is where I came from. I used to just wear Looks like hay on my feet. Um, gold necklace, sure. Light armor, never gonna wear, never gonna wear that. Okay, and also keeping my, my tunic. My, my, my tunic from where I began. Okay, um... Necklace, ring, yeah. And then that's our stuff. Oh, I can sell them all my drugs! This is probably boring for you guys, but, uh... Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, they can have my drugs. Except those drugs. I think I need those drugs. I'm leveling up by doing this. I can have my paper. And my apple. I'm gonna keep my alcohol and I'm gonna keep my bread because that's important to me. And my glowing mushrooms? Sure. Oh, I can learn this. You can have my book. And, uh, have all this. Oh, he has no more money. Oh, I, 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 I took all of his money. Well, okay, bye. May your road lead you to warm sand. Yeah, may your road lead you to profit, money. We want money. 
So when we ran in here, this guy thunderbolted and said, Doda B. Oh. Okay. Something. They yelled something. Hey guys, don't mind me. <laughs> Codlack is the harbinger of the companion. He does not give orders. His word is highly respected, both inside your basker and through all the nine holds. <laughs> the ugly helmet. Got teeth on it. Already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you with jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Uh, who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Yeah, White Whiterun is a pretty uh, nasty place when it comes to people who are not Nords. Um, why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Oh, okay. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. That's kind of shady, isn't it? Do you have news of our quarry? No, I don't. Um, but I am going to sell the I rest- I for Bellathor at the general goods store. The rest of my stuff. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No, even if you are my elder. That's right. This looks like a store. Yeah. Here we're gonna. Because I had like. See anything you like. Yeah, buddy. I had like dragon bones and stuff that are valuable. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Sell her is what? What would you sell? How do you buy people? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them <laughs> treasures. Treasures, yes. Um, keeping that, I think we went, I think we got all the way to books. No, misc. It, gem, gem, uh, crystal. I don't think we need that. Wow, my speech is getting so good. I'm getting so good at talking. Oh, that, that's getting me a lot of money. He's not gonna have anything. Nine. Well, then you can have that, and um, I'm keeping my luck. Yeah, we took all his money. <laughs> took it all. Uh, I don't. Do come back. Yeah, do come back. How do you sell a person? Like, unless it's slavery, which is. I didn't know there was that in this game, Nothing but it wouldn't surprise me. Our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thoros? Is he nothing? He had enough of fish and so fowl. don't talk to me Treat about yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, boys, girls, where is dogs, dogs, where are you holding my clothes? There's nobody I want my I work with my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun. I'm trying to listen to this story about the lady. Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Carl. 
Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my father. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those back will form. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too. And yet they lie to my very face. What's wrong with the... Yeah, why would you be in with the Stormcloaks? Aren't they the, the, the rebels trying to destroy the country? The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Bits and baubles for sale. Oh, now she's just talking about her baubles. Okay, so we can just... She seemed to get over that pretty quickly. Um... Oh, shit! What happened? <laughs> what happened to this guy? It's a guard. How did he die? Better this one than me. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got... He's got a cooked brook bass. He's got fishy. Oh, I want fishy. Can I, will I get in trouble if I take his fish? I'm gonna do it. Nothing happened. Take his money, too. And, uh... Yeah, that's my fish now. It's totally my fish. Okay, everyone is out of their mind. I'm just gonna get out of here. Did it. You killed the dragon. Yeah, I did. I sure did. I punched it to death. Gave it a good old punch of All right, so... Um, I want to, like, en disenchant the things that I have so I can learn their power. Um... But I think that's in here. I think I have to use this guy's table. Enchanting. To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment to have and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by dis disenchanting, destroying enchanted items. Yes. Yes, I recall. So, uh, learn that. Learn that. Learn that. Learn that. Learn that. Learn that. Hey! We, we, uh, we really increased our power there by quite a bit. Alright, I don't have any gems to enchant, but I just wanted to learn them. Okay. Um... Should we go health again? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go health again. We have one perk. Our enchanting got really high by doing that. Heavy armor. Can we upgrade it? No. Can we do this? No. We can't do anything. <sighs> um, what else? Somehow my one-handed skill is really good, and so is my archery. But I don't want to use a weapon. I want to keep punching people. Should we do lockpicking? Hmm. Lock picking could come in handy because then, uh, I think. Oh, wow. Is there like a. Lock picks never break. Yeah, this might be worthwhile. Because you have to unlock everything in this game. We now are the master of novice locks, even though we already were. Alright. Um talk to me. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Come to Dragon's you Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. What else like could the it rest mean? of the great warriors? Arngar has yeah. the worst voice actor. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. What are you guys talking about? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? 
Um, the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. I killed the dragon. I, I'm just gonna say uh, just the dragon. I knew I could count on you. Killed the dragon. But there must be more to it than that. Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed its. I sucked its skin off. Yeah, so that's what I did. So it's true. The gray beards really were summoning you. Yep. The gray beards. Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these gray beards want with me? The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. The voice. If you really are dragonborn. They can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, <laughs> what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know? To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Hi, Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to Hi, Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Okay, so... I like Preventus. I like that he called out the Nord nonsense. I like that. Alright, so we have a... We have a house Carl. What are these kids arguing about? You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. Tan, you're high for sure. Tan, um. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Um, that's weird. Don't serve me. Just be like a. Okay, so Thane. Thane means I'm like a knight or something. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold, a hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Uh, what does the house Carl do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. <laughs> okay. Well... Ladia, um, I guess come me. Lead the way. 
Okay, we have a we have a friend. We have a friend, and she's very tall. Let's go. So, how do I see what quest I have? Where's my quest? There it is. Speak to the green. Oh, I have all these things. Find the owner of the golden claw. There's a whole bunch of quests that we've picked up that I haven't even been paying attention to. Um, speak to the Greybeards. That's what we're doing. So I guess we just... There has been talk amongst the gods that you are Dragonborn. But such a thing, surely that's not possible. Don't worry about it. Um, like, there's no such thing as a, as a Dragonborn. As a... As a... As a born of a dragon. <laughs> Dogs, Imperial, Dragons, it don't matter to me. Look out, child. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. So you can spend it on drinks with the Bannered Mare? If it's, it's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. Stay strong. Stay strong. What? Everyone just talks to you as you go by. I work with my mother. Sell fruit and vegetables. Fun, yeah, we, uh, we know. You said that the last time when I was trying to listen to somebody, you just walked in front of me and was like, I work with my mother. We sell fruit and vegetables. <laughs> How did you sound like, kid? Alright. So. Oh, good. You're coming with me. Can you jump off the wall like I do? It's a special talent. I, I learned it. All right, so how um how far away? Where is the marker? Do I, do I not have it? Oh, it's down here in the corner, Iverstead. Iversteed. So we have to go around the mountain. Or we can go here and then run along the river. Let's do that. Because the Imperial guy said we can hire stables. Is that this guy? Hey, buddy. Do you drive? You ride? Yeah, I do. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Um... Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften. Twenty dollars. Climb and back and we'll be off. Sure thing. Come on, Lydia. Um, we're... I can't wait here forever. What? Well, just paid you. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all... Forget all about your long trip. Oh, so it is a long trip, so I'm glad I took this guy's little, um, go-kart here. Slaughterfish have razor-sharp teeth that have claimed the lives of many swimmers. Oh, okay. Um... We want to go that way, but... Oh my god, there's kitties here too. You're different kitties. One needs something. No, we're good. We're good. Akari, we're good. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. What? Are you good? Don't lose it. Fugitive. I wish I could say that I did not. Uh slow down, explain yourself. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Surrender, be merciful. What ill fortune that this should happen now, while we are still trying to make a living. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Of all kinds, and all I didn't mean to. We have no home that the dragon can burn to What did he give me? What? I feel pity for these Nords. When the dragons attack cities and towns, they will lose everything. Did you see someone run past just now? Oh, who's this guy? Um, yeah, he went that away. <laughs> 
I presume this war hammer of chills belongs to you. Is that what he gave me? Um. Yeah. Yes. How did you get this? Uh, uh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. Okay. Well, you got your thing back. I got one gold. What's happening? I want to see this. No sign of him. Damn, dude. Oh, what did this is the fugitive? Thine yeah. made a little bit more than one gold. <sighs> that was weird. That was a weird yes. experience. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. I'm not I wasn't going to Riften. What for the privilege of entering the city. But what does it matter? Uh this is obviously a shakedown. This is obviously a shakedown, but I'll pay and you're obviously a thief. I kill thieves. I'm gonna try to just be as passive as possible. I don't want to kill a guard. <laughs> All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Okay, you do that. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting out of Riften because, uh. Look at all the god rays coming out of this. It's very hazy. Okay, so we um, took a carriage thing to Riften. Um, immediately found kitties. And then a guy comes up and gives me a hammer. Says he's gonna kill me if I tell anybody about it. And then I told somebody about it and he got killed himself. So... You know, like... Just another, just another day. Um... There's a little... Fox creature. Oh no. I'm losing. I'm just following the arrow actually. I don't even know if this is the right direction. I'm, I'm approaching a. Uh, looks like a hill with trees on it. Oh, there's like a glowing. There's a glowing person in there. Oh! Okay, we're fighting. Oh, they... Punch him! Oh, it's punching me! Hey! Good job, Lydia. We, we did it. I can take this thing. I don't know what it is. I'm taking it. It looks cool. And they just have fur on them. Well, what were they defending in here? Autumn shade clearing discovered. There's dead bodies in here. Oh, he has chicken. Oh. Take your alcohol and your ring. Yeah, you can keep your chicken. There's look at all these dead guys. Pogfish. Oh god, I don't want to eat the pogfish. Father of Nibbin. Has value. Can we read it? Oh, archery got better. Look at that. Translated with commentary by Florin Jal Jaliel. Jaliel. Oh, it's like an actual book. I'm sure you could get a bunch of lore out of reading these things, but uh...
Um, it has value. Let's take it. All right. I don't know if that was. I don't know if that book was like the whole. The. I can take a flower. All right. Let's let's get let's get going. The um Oh woofies. Come here, woofie. Are there only two woofies? I have like a little blood dot on my screen. It's hard to hard to see through the blood dot. Approaching a tiny house. Oh, they go awoo. Oh, oh, good. They're not fighting me. Okay, that's okay. Oh, it's like burned down. Redwater den. If you're buying, go on in. Otherwise, shove off. Buying, buying what? Wait, what's this? Oh. Really? That didn't fully level me up? <laughs> it looked like it would've. Can I take this book? Alright, Lydia. Um, <clears throat> we're not buying, so we're not- we're not going here. It's kind of crazy how, um... How much just running through the forest you have to do? Yeah, it is nice though. I mean, it looks autumny, nice and autumn. Autumn looks nice and autumn. Hmm. We're getting to a windmill. <clears throat> oh, it's like a whole place. Sarethi farm discovered. Oh, there's goats and chickens. And they have a guard here? The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. <laughs> Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Yeah, that was me. Um, they have glow plants that are very loud. Well, it's kind of cool. They have like a pond. There's a guy up there. I want to talk to you. Hey. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. It's an elf. It's an elf courier. Oh boy. He's running right at me. All right. Hand over your valuables. Or I would gut you like a fish. Um. Do I look like I have any money? Yes, actually. You look like you are lousy with gold. I am not going to ask again. Um. I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Never oh. Come here. Nice moves. Oh, have you. No. Yeah, you, see, that's what happens when you face, uh. The kitty punch. He had two different taggers. 
Magehood. It's a, it's a magicless magehood. We're gonna take it though. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wear it. Yeah, now I have your hat. What do you think of that? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna look at it. Hey, it looks all cozy. Well, I got a cozy little hat, thanks to you. Cozy hat that has no power. Oh, are we just gonna swim? Is that it in the distance there? Yeah, we're just gonna go for a swim. We're gonna just swim right across. And hopefully, um, fish don't kill me. There's something here. It's really close. I want to see what it is. If I can even get up there. Oh, maybe I can't. <sighs> Yearman's Hall. Okay, we're discovering places. I I wanted to go to the Greybeards though. Like they said that that was a. Uh, There was like little fish swimming around. That was cool. Oh. Shroud hearth barrow. I were said we made it. Hey guys. You ever settle down to have children? Twice before you do it. <laughs> if you ever have kids, just uh, think twice because you might regret it. Is that what you're saying? On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Oh yeah, I'm going. Uh, what type of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it. I'm on my way there right now. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Um, anything I should watch out for? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay. Be careful up there. Yeah. Right, going up the seven. Is there really seven? That what's this? Edge table tablet. Emblem one. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. The voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Okay. So, um, the voice. Oh no! It 
killed the goaty. Goat horns? You can rip its horns off and eat its leg? No, Goaty deserves to rest in 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 sanctuary. <laughs> so do not rip apart the Goaty. Okay. Man, this reminds me there in um Melbourne, Australia. I lived there, there's like a there's like a thing like this where you climb steps up a giant mountain. And the view is crazy when you get to the top, but I don't think it's quite 7,000, I think it's like 2,000. But uh, yeah, you get pretty tired by the time you get to the top. It's a guy. Oh, and another tablet. Hey. Hey, guy. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Yeah. Until next time. Um, I want to read your tablets. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons pres presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. <laughs> oh, I'm getting stuck on the stairs. Oh, the stairs go up and around. I'm like, there's stairs over there. Uh oh, here's a woofy. Yeah. And you got nothing. You got nothing. Wonder how Liddy is doing behind me. Oh, she's keeping up. We're. Yeah, we just gotta punch a woof every so often. Alright. Oh, here's another tablet. What's in there? Looks like money's in there. Well, it seems to be some sort of blessing, so I'm gonna... Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragon only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Let's tell some kind of story. This has been a pretty, uh, pretty mellow episode, I think. Like, we haven't done a whole lot of action. We just kind of talked to people and been going on this long adventure, but... If you're sticking with me, I appreciate it. Just, uh, you know, have a nice relaxing walk through Skyrim as we look for the, the, the graveyards. Did I miss any emblems or tablets or whatever? I want to get all the tablets. Oh, there's one. <laughs> mm, she's sitting in front of it. <sighs> yeah, okay, I won't talk to you. Emblem four. Kine called Parthenax. Called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon, then dragon war raged. Dragons against the tongue. Parth, kind called Parth on Parthenax. I thought kind was a uh, um, one of the gods. One of the gods in this world is called kind. So it was dragons against men, and they're both shouting at each other, apparently. Uh-oh. Oh! That 
guy looks scary. Oh, he's coming right at us. All right, here we go. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Lydia, all you, buddy. Oh no, he took out Lydia. Oh! I got no chance. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> He's coming after me still. Maybe I can run back to the lady. Oh, he's still coming. Hey, uh, lady, there's a, there's a, there's a monster. A frost troll. Get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I think, I think this is one time. I think just this one time. I'm gonna... Use magic. Oh wait, didn't I have a spell that I can use? Maybe we, we can't. Maybe we can't. I tried punching him and it did nothing. Oh, what's this? Okay. Uh, locate the saints bandit camp. Seducers bandit camp. The roads have been unkind to this one. Plagued by outlaw. Along the route from White Run to Market. Okay, we're in a battle right now. No time to read a note. Okay, um... Let's go fire. We'll just... Fire him. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, I'm out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, can I foose him? Can I foose you? Yeah, that did- that did nothing. Alright, um... Holy shit. <laughs> uh, magic. We'll just take all the magic and all the stamina. Taking all the drugs. Fire him! Holy shit! Oh gosh, she's like, completely dead! Oh, it's down! Fire! Yes! Lydia comes in clutch with the arrow. I'm gonna take your fat. Yeah, that's what you get. I know, we, we already... Well, since we broke the seam, I guess we can occasionally use magic as well. I was gonna try to punch everything, but... Uh, hey, that... That's... That's cool. I want that. Was gonna try to punch everything, but, um... Okay. Um, but now I think we're just gonna have to just be a regular, be a regular person. She has a bunch of really expensive stuff. Oh, that's better. I want that. Equip. Time between shouts is reduced by 20%. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, where's my- hey, the boots look good. The boots look nice. Well, that was, um, I feel bad, because I, like, I was gonna punch everything, but I wasn't strong enough to punch that guy. It didn't, like, no damage. I didn't expect, um, a monster to be in this mountain. But, uh, we bravely ran away. Bravely, ra bravely ran away. That was the strategy. And then Lydia comes back from the dead and shoots him with an arrow. Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of, the, out of the world. Proving for all that their voice was too, too was strong. Uh, although their sacrifices were many fold.
Okay. So they um they read they they killed Alduin and um shouted him out of the world. Level up. Oh yeah. Um Well, I guess magic this time. The heavy armor got a lot from that. <laughs> Um, let's go destruction. Let's, let's, let's become a... Yeah. Nice. We'll eventually level everything up, I guess. Um, edge tablet. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer. Founding the first empire with sword and voice. Whilst dragons withdrew from the world from this world. Hmm. There's one on the left here. On the edge of a cliff. Emblem seven. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. That one's a little, dear Lord, don't fall. Um, that one's a little weird. I didn't. I don't know what that one meant. To understand how strong voices will fail. Oh, there's another one. Emblem 8, Jurgen Wilmcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Is that where we're going? The throat of the world? Oh, there's one up there. Emblem... Nine? Is that right? For years, all silent. The Greybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septum. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Tiber Septim. Isn't that, isn't that Talos? Dovahkiin. That's what they were yelling. They were yelling Dovahkiin. Oh, there's one more. Hi, Hrothgar. We did it. Emblem 10. The voice is worship, follow the inner path, speak only in true need. The voice of the sky was added. What is that? How do I... Kitty paw power, 15 points of damage, didn't do anything to the troll. Uh, yeah, time shouts is reduced. All combat 20% faster. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you? Oh, it's temporary. It only lasts for 23 hours. Well, that's cool. Now, um, now we're friends with animals for a day, I guess. Um, oh, I was supposed to put something... I was supposed to put something in here. This. Oh, well, well, we'll do that. We, 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 um, that's how much gold I have. Wow. We'll do that when, um, when we're done. We, we were summoned. 
They said Dovahkiin. We are the new Talos. Oh. Oh. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Uh, yeah, I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Sure thing. I'm gonna get a good look at you. Strike us with the power of your voice. I will. I will. I just want to look at your face. Yeah, you're 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 great. Shout at us. And let us taste of your voice. Okay, take it. <gasps> Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh, you you said, like, uh, come here. Or, like, you said Dovahkiin and everybody told me to be here, so... I'm answering your summons. Master? That's... No... I'm not saying that. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragon? Well, we learned about that when we walked up the path. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path you lay down for you? remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Yeah, I, I, I can say uh, I can say that one already. Oh, look at that. He's. He did graffiti. What do I do? Hey, look at that! I learned his. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn. You can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Oh! I'm sucking, I'm sucking it out. I'm sucking it. <laughs> Yeah. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Oh, uh. Hey, look at that. Lady, did you see it? Well done. Again. Thanks. 
Looks up and uh, feel this oh. right. Yeah. You learn quickly. Once more. Looks up and um. Oh. Did it. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Is that you? No, nope. Einhurst. Oh, he's got the arrow. Yeah, okay. These guys are old. How old are they? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to make you stop. Okay, um, oh, out to the courtyard. It says wold. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. I hear it. Approach Master Bob and he will give you the sound of wool. Okay, time, time to suck. I did it. New shout? Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Wait, does that mean I have to whirlwind sprint? Then yeah. it will be your turn. Master Bori. Max. Wolf Wolf Your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay, I'm doing it. Whoa. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Um, I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods <laughs> for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Uh, what is the way of the voice, though? You never told me. Tell me, I want to learn about Jürgen Windcaller, because, um, I read about him on the way here. He was a great war leader of the ancient Norse, the master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice. Was born. What, yeah, what is the way of the voice? Tell me. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. 
Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh, okay, but I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? Yeah. The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Okay. Sky, Archer. So, um, so I have special exemptions, basically. Is that what you're saying? Where am I supposed to go now? Houston Grav? I have to go all the way over there. Oh, I can take a carriage to Morthal. Mirror watch. Cool. I'll take a carriage there and go to Houston Grav. Let's go back to the stable. Because we had to do something exciting. Like the only exciting thing that happened was the 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 frost troll almost kicked my ass. <laughs> and the horses are so chubby. They're so chubby. Hey guy. Yeah. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'm trying to remember the place I gotta go. Was it Morthal? Where do you want to go? Yeah, more fifty dollars. <laughs> Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, let me get in there. This rain will stop eventually. Always does. Maybe it's just a rainy season. You can cook some meals over the open flames of your campfire at campsites that you build. You can camp. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. We did it, and we have to go that way, so let's go through the town. What's the Yarl going to do about it? The Legion's always we looking for strong, capable warriors. You think you've got what it takes. Please, our headquarters is in solitude. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We've no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. They don't like wizards, huh? Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. M too much to do. Yeah. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was just walking by. And you decided to initiate the conversation. What could it mean? The return of the dragonborn? Who among us could possibly hope? Who could have that much honor? It's, um, it's me. I have the honor. Um, because I have the blessing directly from Akatosh himself. Or herself. Itself. The gods have genders. Alright. Well, I want to go to he the more Vars layer. Okay, just discovering places as we travel. You know, we'll come back to them eventually. If we stopped at every single place, we would if we would never get anywhere. And trying to stick to the main the main quest at the uh, you know initially. Which, um, is... 
I'm, I'm not about the way of the voice. Like, worship, worshiping the gods with my with my tongue doesn't sound pleasant. Uh oh, oh, will be a fire. Wait, can we can we fire and punch? Hold on. Combine, combine powers. Fire from distance, punch it close. Whoa, 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 what happened? Drugs? They have... <sighs> Necromancer robes. Is that why these guys died? They weren't actually alive? Take your alcohol and what's in here? Drugs and money, my favorite. When I fought that frost, frost, frost troll, I had to take all the drugs that I had just to survive. Oh, oh, I, my first wine. I haven't been taking wines, but maybe I'm classy like that, you know. Oh, there's Puppy. What are they doing? The brawls of yours are slower than our goat. Fire! Punch! What's happening to me? I can't, I can't attack. I can't do anything. That was weird. That was really strange. All of that was weird. My hand was all broken. It was like... Buh. Elves ear. Lydia took this guy out. My hand, my hand is still broken. <laughs> bread. Oh, I knew this was worth it. Drugs and bread, my favorite. I think I'm gonna go. Completely, yeah, yeah. Now we have the power of the, the dark side. And giant, ew! What? Ew! What? Oh, can I combine? Here, I'll do this. Yeah. Now I have. Wow, that's cool. Um, crystal. I don't have to worry about anything because I have. Oh, look out! Hey, this stick is pretty great. I just point the stick at people and uh, they die. You know what, though? This guy's got a shield. I'm gonna take a shield, a shield and stick, so I can block, and then I can, and I can zap. Are there drugs? There is drugs. And alcohol. Is that wine? What's that? What is that? Little claw thing. We're going. We're going. It's very dark. It's not as dark for you guys because I've lightened it up for you, but for me, it's quite dark. Let's um, let's go down here. This looks like a side path. <gasps> it was a side path to money. Right, let's throw this out of the way. Get get out of here. Take that and throw it. Money, 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 money. Look at all these monies. That was worth it. 
Well, yeah, you're quickly going to realize that I love alcohol, drugs, and money. That is all I care about. Oh. Let's zap him. Can I, does this block- does this block his frost power? Man, Lydia is crazy. I like the shield business. We have- we have, um... Man, these guys are covered in stuff. So you block, and then you zap. Block, zap, block. It's easier to aim your zaps when you're in the first person camera though. I've, I'm discovering that. Oh, there's drugs on the floor. And there's drugs in here. There's drugs everywhere. And a chest. With money. Is this where we Oh yeah, we just came from here. Okay, we're just we're just going over top of it. Look at that. Just a sack of money just sitting there. Well, are we staying true to the way of the voice? <laughs> huh? I said, are we staying true to the way of the voice? Yeah. I don't feel like there's a need to sneak. Oh, that. Yeah. The block didn't do much, but uh Maybe we need a better shield. It is kind of tiny. I've never seen anything quite like that. Like what? Oh yeah, that is pretty crazy, isn't it? Why does the ground look different? Oh, that's why the ground looks different. Okay, we, um... Dude, is this where we have to stay true to the way of the voice? Hey! What do you know? Oh. See, she... She, uh... She doesn't stay true to the way of the voice. Not like me. Oh! Um... Already, I'm already using one of those. Is he coming up here? Well, this will be a perfect place to zap him. Come on. Come on. Oh, did he forget I was up here? I think he forgot I was up here. Hey. Oh, my stick is almost out of power. That's a shame. It's a pot. Yeah, there's money in pots. Bread! Oh my god! Look at all the bread! Bread, bread, bread. Hmm. Who would have thought ancient temple has, uh, bread? Just fresh bread. Uh-oh. Did we alert somebody? Is there more bread over here? No, this is cheese. Oh, he found us. Yeah, we're, we're a good team. I mean, I I zap him with my stick, and you uh, you kind of just slap him with the, with your sword, and we we win. Wait, is there something over here? Oh. Drugs. Okay, so we got drugs. That's it. Oh, there's a chest. Whoa! Those are cool. I, I guess I'll take them. Because I like them. They're all fiery. And then it goes just around. That's cool. We got fire arrows, but we have no bow to shoot them. 
That's okay, I guess. That's okay. Dun, 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 dun. So when my stick runs out of power, does that mean I, I just have to get rid of it? Can I fire the oil? I mean, zap the oil. Oh, there's a pot. Zap the pot. Wait. No. What am I doing? Open this. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, here's the other one. Zap the pot. Oh shit, it exploded way over there. Yeah, yeah, we got it. I want to open this. So, um, my pot, my pot shot was a little bit of a backfire there. It kind of went <laughs> way over to the side. Um. Okay. Oh, look at this. There's like a crystal and drugs and drugs and a chest. Oh, what's that? Dagger? Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Minor ring of welding. Wielding? Welding. Oh, God. Um, one hit attacks do 15% more damage. Do we we want to learn that. We want to learn that. And the Axe of White Run. That's the Axe of White Run. Are you kidding me? <sighs> well, that's a lame item. Okay, um. Excuse me, Lydia. My plan was to shoot the pot and have it blow up the oil, but, uh, it kind of went flying, so. Here. Oh, there's poison. That's it. All right. Oh, there's a skeleton. Let's get him. Can I shoot him with my stick? Oh my! My stick's almost out of power. There's one over here too. Oh, there's one up. I saw I saw a guy up there. Let's get him. Oh, can we just go between the fire? Oh no. Um Yeah, this fire's really loud. Let's use lightning. Double lightning. Whoa, that was awesome. Totally just like Dark Side Sith Lorded him. I'm the I am the darkness. Fear the kitty darkness. <laughs> Alright. Oh there's drugs. Oh there's big boy. The kill cam's pretty cool too. It like shows the kitty cat doing his little kill. He had a hammer inside of him. Alright, so there's a bridge over there. There's a path. Oh, that's one of those walls. Let's go down there. I think I like the power of, of the darkness. I'm just zapping people with my, with my electricities. So we can punch. We can zap. We can do it all. Word of power learn fade become ethereal. I can become ethereal. Doesn't really feel like a, a word of power. <laughs> you can become a ghost. Do you want to be a ghost? I don't really want 
gonna be a ghost. Oh, drugs in. Oh, it played the puzzle solution sound. Whoa! Unarmed strikes do 10 additional damage, so the base damage plus the 15 for kitty paws plus another 10. Yeah, we want to wear those. They're covered in little spikies. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I got like little spiky hands. Can I un unequip the magic? Yeah, now I'm back. Guess who's back? I wonder how hard my punches are now. So, oh, is that an enchantment too? Oh, so we can learn that enchantment and then get really good at enchanting. Get additional unarmed strikes, plus the base strikes, plus the kitty paw power, plus the fist of fury or whatever it is for the heavy armor perk. Oh, that would have that would have taken out the troll. Yeah, that's the, that's what we're gonna do. Cause I do like punching things. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, I hear skeleton. Whoa, he popped. Oh, there's drugs over here. Drugs and burial urns with money in them. So now, now, oh, whoa, 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 what? Oh, so when I went near it, it opened the gate. All right, so I guess I gotta run and then whirlwind. Whoa, whoa, I can whirlwind twice? Nice. Okay. Oh no, it's more of these fire... Lydia, if you die in here, I apologize. I led you into... Oh god, the whole floor is fire. When oh, she's just walking in place. Do we gotta get... So do I wave the voice over there? Wave the voice? Oh good, they don't seem to go off for her, so they only go off for me. Stay true to the way of the voice. Oh, spiders. Bring it. Oh shit, I've been poisoned again. Oh yeah, Kitty Paw Power is back, baby. Don't don't worry, I'll scratch. Uh -huh. I'm just scratching the thing out of the way. All right, open it. What are those, chickens? We found the chicken temple. Uh, what's in here? Money, don't worry. We'll, we'll grab the horn in a second, we're getting money. Oh, note. Okay, failed to get the horn, meet with whoever took the horn. Okay. Dragonborn, I need to speak with you urgently. Rent the attic room of the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, Riverwood, and I will meet you, a friend. Well. Well. Apparently they, um, were, were true to the way of the voice because they were able to get the horn before me. Oh, that's like a treasure room.
Oh, there's tons of stuff. There's money on the ground. There's money all over the ground. Whoa! It's a giant crystal. It's worth a thousand. That's empty. <sighs> mm. Well, we failed to get the horn. Open it. It's really dark in here, for me, anyway. Just kind of going towards the light. Oh, my favorite rock door. Look at, like, it, it has the mechanics to, like, slide forward and then go down. Into nothing. Oh, there's more urns and more chests. Steel helmet. Oh. Yeah, why not? You take all of the urn... That are, that, that are not empty anyway. And then drugs. Hurry. Right. I guess we go this way. Oh, we're back at the entrance. Cool. Alright. Moderately successful, I guess. Let's get out of here. Pick up the pace, kitty cat. It's daytime. Alright guys, well... We went to get the, the horn of Jurgen Wincaller and we couldn't find it. Someone else was true to the voice, apparently, and they got it first. Um, a lot of traveling around, a lot of finding things, and almost getting my ass kicked by a frost roll. Um, but I think we're gonna call it here for now, and I will catch you guys in the next Bread episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.